Hey guys, how's it going? It is Clary Berry and we are here today to talk to you about Sagittarius. We're doing the Sagittarius reading for the 18th through the 24th of October. We've got a lot going on this week and we've already talked about the um, Saturn, or excuse me, well, kind of Saturn and Pluto going direct and then uh, Jupiter and Mercury going direct this week. We'll talk about the full moon in other videos. Um, so specifically looking just at the week and getting deeper into what this is looking like for you. And this is take some time to breathe out. Okay, we're releasing here. Disseminating moon. Okay, so let's look at this for you guys. Now the last weekly video that we did is still going to be somewhat effective because the sun is still in the 11th house for the majority of this week. So we're still looking at those groups, those causes, those social, you know, functions, the hopes and the dreams that you have for the world. And it seems like you are hitting some milestones in this groups and this friends, um, maybe cause, but specifically this week, we're looking at romance and love at the beginning of the week. Okay. Whole new world. If you've noticed that, you know, you have had a whole new world lately. Well, keep bracing yourself because there's going to be a whole new world even coming up. Like we've got milestones, milestones, milestones. And again, this could be in love and you know, your ability to play and to enjoy life. Okay. Feeling very strong here, moving into the mid middle of the week with your health and your fitness systems. Um, you are, you know, maybe in the best shape of your life here, and you're wanting to, again, kind of give back. You're wanting to, you might be thinking about pets here. You might be analyzing things in your life, and how can we get even better and better than we were before? Okay. But be careful of burnout and be careful of like getting too serious. We talked about having that kind of play energy towards the beginning of the week. Just make sure we don't lose that towards the middle of the week here, okay? And get too, um, you know, focused on the goals and the trying to do everything perfectly that we like overthink stuff and make things even worse. Because remember, the stress is the worst. It's not just about the food and the, you know, doing the, the proper health things. It's almost like we had some burnout by getting too strong and going maybe too hard with some of our fitness goals um, and then needing to take a rest. Um, rest is good for, you know, our health as well, but there may not be a whole lot of time for it, but at least maybe getting some mental rest um, during the middle of the week might be, might be good as well too. And focusing on kind of that inner healing um, to get that self-improvement is going to be almost as important as changing any health goals on the outside. Okay. So looking at the end of the week, we're definitely looking at having some closure and some healing. And overall, again, for Scorpio season, we're going to be having some healing and some closure. This is a new, you know, we have to get to the, the end before we can get to the new. Okay. And we want to look at any limiting beliefs that we might have or things that we're repressing or have been hiding from ourselves. And that's why we've been staying so busy and everything like that. And again, just kind of overall getting into, you know, looking at those things we've been hiding for ourselves, from ourselves. Again, so much fire, so much go, 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 so much passion. But again, what does that really look like, you know, deep down underneath? Okay. Now, the end of the week, you know, we're still, it's, it's about those partners. It's about the relations, um, the sharing, the one-on-one. -on -one. Could be having some fear and some issues come up, okay? It's like things were going so well until they weren't. And we might have over, we might overdo something, okay? We might have too big of plans, trying to push things too fast, there's just so much, so much energy, so many wands here, okay? But yet our thoughts somehow not in the right place underneath. Those subconscious issues, again, they're going to be popping up here in um, Scorpio season if we're not willing to deal with them, you know, on a, on on the daily basis, basically. But towards the end of the week, you know, again, you might be having some fears about the relationship. You might be having um, some projection in the relationship. Okay. You may be trying to have the perfect relationship and have it all now. And you may feel like you're not there yet. And why are we not there yet? And it's like that frustration with not being where you want to be in your partnerships. And there could be some conflicts, but you might be able to probably be able to use these to perfect 
the relationship in some way. It's not like going to be something, oh, that's going to tear the relationship apart. It's the, a way that, again, looking at the shadow work, anything that you're thinking about your partner, about your person at this time is going to show you where you can make better, you know, where you can make changes and get to a higher ground and something that you're doing and something that the way that you're acting. So don't be afraid to use the shadow work, especially towards the end of the week here, okay? So be sure and check your other signs. Um, some of the videos, you know, I go into more detail, some less. And there's also, you know, again, you can watch your last week's video because it'll have somewhat of to do with this video as well. And yeah, that's about it for now. Take care, much love, many blessings. Don't forget to take time to breathe. You got a lot going on. You're very busy here. You're hitting new, again, new milestones in your life. This is a whole new world of life. Your feeling may be better than ever, but again, don't want to get burnt out. You don't want to get off course. Take some time to breathe. Take some time to do your shadow work. Check out the shadow work playlist here on YouTube. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.